Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, the Orienteering Kid, where today we're back in Milan again for day four of the Tormoose Cup. Yes, we are back for the fourth day of the Tormoose Cup, organised solely by Remo Medella, who is setting some very intriguing problems that I am really enjoying, to be honest. The tasks yesterday were definitely some of the hardest that I've done in an urban area, especially Station 2, trying to count all those trees. But yeah, it's been really fun, and I'm looking forward to what he's got in store for us today. So why don't we just jump straight into it, and we're going into the Tormoose section of the website, and into Day 4 where you will see again we have a 1 to 4000 map with three stations and a 4 meter zero tolerance. Now we are back to the black circles being play equipment this time rather than the fitness equipment yesterday and we've also got black crosses which will be posts to support trolley bus overhead wires. So just the wires that go ahead to support tram lines or trolley buses or whatever else you would get as the public transport in your city. As always I'll be putting all my answers in the top right hand corner of the screen and we will see if I get a full house again today. Although typically if you watched yesterday's video you will know I'm currently sitting in first in the whole competition but every time I've done that in previous Taurus Cups I've always had a nightmare in the subsequent days so we will see how I do today but we will jump straight in and we will go right into station one. Um, the tree is a load of trees in the back um, they've got this bit of corner here so it must be delta it's not on the black cross it's on that tree though and it's not on the right play equipment and it's not in the building there um, yeah I, I think that was a good station if I've seen it all correctly because I was very quick the black cross was the post not the play equipment which alpha was on so I think that's fine and while I was going through Google Maps earlier I was lucky enough to look at that section and I knew that the final circle which Bravo was going on was slides rather than swings so yeah I think that was a good station and we will go on to station two um, the fences and the trees there in the bush and we want the outside corner of that bits of Charlie um, not any of those trees that's on the fence there Bravo end of the wrong part of the hedge and on the fence is Alpha again another good station nice to see a bit of the fences out the front and the bush in the center was used very well actually i think the task with the wrong end of the hedge was a good one but again i'm confident with that one and we will move on to station three and all the trees there and the path going between delta and echo and one two three four five is it that tree? There's a tree hiding there, so it must be Alpha's tree. That part of the woodland is Echo. I think that's Charlie. Out the front, it must be Foxtrot. And that tree, Delta. So now I'm slightly <laughs> querying whether there was actually a hidden tree there, but I'm going with that because I feel like a no zero station, uncommon, but it might be true. But station one, I think this was a very good station. We have this bit of flower bed here, which has been mapped as the bush, and it must be on this corner here, because where else are we on this map? We've got this bit of fence here, the line of trees, so it must be there. And then the second task, I was right, it is on the cross, and we remember that the cross is this post here holding up the trolley bus lines and Alpha is on the circle with the play equipment. That is a clear zero. And then task 13 on this first tree here. So it must be that tree because it's the tree on the end of the line so it must be Foxtrot. And then going off out to the back, I did say about these bits of play equipment, we've obviously got the line of three at the back is this set of swings, this set of swings, 
and you can just see the slide behind that post nicely positioned and we want the slide because it's the last one in the line and Bravo is on the set of swings here so again nothing really near that and it's a zero and then finally the last one is on a building and I'm pretty sure that Echo is on this bit of wall here and I was pretty sure when I first glanced at it and then I looked up and it was there again I think the kite we want would be about here so yeah it's a very good station a very quick station and looking at it in Google Maps beforehand was definitely beneficial to help me going quickly there station two again I think could be a very quick one if we have this bit of bush in the center the path coming through and we've obviously got these bits of fences which are the border of the out of bounds area and you can see this one curving so it's clear we are here and we have the bush and we want well this corner here and Charlie is right there and then the second one is a tree so we know it's going off to the right hand side but is it echo or foxtrot well echo and foxtrot are on the first line of trees here and we want a control on the second line of trees so neither of them are correct and you can just see the tree poking out from the tree in front here it must be a zero there the third task then brings us to the fence here and we've already identified these two bits of fencing as these two corners here so it must be bravo on the left hand side of the corners and then we get moved up to the bush and i did mention this as i finished the station but we have two ends of the bushes here we want the nearer end although potentially i would have in the control descriptions included the eastern arrow just to identify which of the northern ends of the bush we want because it's clear there's two within the circle and because it's quite zoomed out it might be quite hard to tell which one is which but i think looking at it clearly it must be the nearer one to us and delta is the further away one from us so it must be a zero and then finally we are on to that corner of the fence just behind the tree so it must be alpha so yeah i think that was a good station the only hard one to potentially tell in the time was 24 which end of the bush was on but i think that still is a fair problem and i think this station definitely needed a harder problem to throw in around that time and then finally the third station and i definitely spent a lot longer on this one almost the time for the other two combined but it's a load of tree counting and now first thing to note is that all these trees around the outside have been mapped as runnable woodland after the conversations i had yesterday i think this is fair you could either map these as runnable woodland or distinct trees but it's obviously a lot easier to map a whole circle of trees going round the outside of the area as runnable woodland but the first problem we have is identifying which tree we want within this photo. Now, I think if I looked correctly and I'm agreeing with it now, you can just about see a small bit of fencing up here. I believe there is a tree behind this tree being held up by this fencing just like the tree with the alpha kite and that definitely fits as the other tree here just back from the tree that delta is on here. So if we have the delta tree and the hidden tree, if we then go up here to where Charlie is, we have this circular tree here, move back down and we have bravo tree and then we move one tree along and i believe we hit the alpha tree this is the station i am least confident on however so we may see later that i am completely wrong and i have been completely wrong and it wouldn't be a day after moving up to first day if i hadn't made a mistake but <laughs> we will see how we go and we move on to the second one and i obviously identified this path running here and we want this bit of woodland just to the edge of the path so it must be Echo there with these sets of trees being the white area and then we jump back across and using the hidden tree again and this tree with Delta on it we've obviously identified that Charlie is the tree at the back so that one must be Charlie coming across and we come out to the end of this path which we've used for Echo come along here and we want to between that and this black cross which is outside the photo but I'm believing it's there and I'm believing that that must be Foxtrot because it's in about the right place and then we jump back up and we're following this path back up and we want the tree that we've already been anchoring the rest of the station off so it must be delta so that was definitely the hardest station of the day it required identification
identifying this tree hiding behind the tree in front. But I like that, I like stuff being hidden because it's hard to identify and makes you think a lot more. But obviously if that tree wasn't there, how would you fit the rest of the map to it? But yeah, the last thing to do now is to jump back out and to look at the overall results of today, which I could be quite high, but I could also be quite low if I'm completely wrong about Station 3. But I have come in second, which probably means that I've got it all right for today. But things can change. There's a lot of people still to come in for the rest of the day because I've done this pretty early. But I will see you later for the overall results. Yes, and we are back and it does seem like I've managed to hold on to the second place or, well, third place because someone else has come in joint first. I would like to say well done to both Vladimir and Mikhail for winning the event. 33 seconds does seem like an absolutely phenomenal time to be competing considering I was 47 seconds and then nobody else was quicker than a minute. And I think coming first and second on station 3 with 12 and 13 seconds and then me being the next quickest on 23 three seconds. I really don't know how you've done that to be honest. That is such an amazing achievement so well done to the pair of you. We will just go back now and check if there is anything that I missed just as a quick glance. So station one was obviously fine. We established the tricks with the zeros with the post here with the wrong bit of play equipment and with the building rather than the end of the wall. One thing to take away from there is it is sometimes useful to go into Google Maps beforehand and have a look at the stations because you might just get lucky and then station two I think other than the point of including another arrow here just to say it's the eastern end of the hedge I think that might have made it slightly clearer other than that I think that is again a fair station and then finally the third station with the hidden tree I think that was really the key to solving that task but it did look like it was a slow station and I like that maybe throwing this in as station two might have been a bit more interesting though it's obviously a slower one so you would start with a fast paced one of station one and then go slower with what was station three as station two and then have the quick one at the end which was station two but would be station three but I think again this definitely was a tricky station to throw in and I definitely felt a bit weird after it with no zeros which is why I also think if station two and three were the other way round I think I might have been a bit more hesitant going into the final station considering I've put no zeros on what was quite hard station but yeah last thing to do is go and have a look at the overall results where I am pretty sure that I have kept first place and I have it's now four days in and I think this competition is definitely getting very close but with today's event with two people coming in very quickly for first place I think the point separation has definitely got a lot bigger here as even some of the quickest people here have got quite low scores but yeah I hope you enjoyed the event today and my analysis of it if you wouldn't mind liking the video and actually subscribing because I have got a statistic that 80% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed now if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel you will get notifications for all the videos I release and it just helps me out a little bit on my end as well. But yeah, thank you for watching, comment any extra analysis you think I missed in the comments section and I will see you tomorrow for the fifth day of the Tormoose Cup. Mm -hmm.